Hey Transformers fans, happy Friday. It's good to see you guys here again for another Transformers Fan First Friday. As a reminder, I'm Rachel and I'm a marketer on the Transformers team. And I'm joined today with Evan, a designer on the Studio Series line. And he's a huge fan of the 1986 Transformers movie. So he's the perfect designer to be joining us today. And we're also joined with brand writer, Amanda. Amanda is literally responsible for writing everything Transformers, whether it be names, e-com copy, background stories. She's also a huge fan herself, as you can see there from her collection. And Evan, your collection's pretty impressive as well. Me not, me not so much. <laughs> I gotta get your some more. Your collection is, is, you know, all in your head. Like it, yes. it's just, you're collecting them <laughs> mentally. Exactly. Thank you. I like to think that myself. Um, so anyways, welcome, Amanda and Evan. Thanks for joining me today. Um, and fans, this is their first ever Transformers Fan First Friday, so make sure you give them a warm welcome in the comments. <laughs> Go easy on us. <laughs> yeah, be nice. <laughs> so I hope you all recovered from a fun PulseCon event. I know I certainly did. I had some Wi-Fi issues. I'm in an old Boston apartment, so... The Wi-Fi is not the best. So guys, I upgraded my Wi-Fi speed and I'm actually um, hardwired in today. <laughs> Whoa, the... could that be any longer? <laughs> I know, but hey, it works. Um, so this ethernet cable, I plugged into my router, my modem, it looks ridiculous, but I am ready to go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So anyways, um, if you guys are all set, let's jump right into it. We have 14 reveals today um, to share with you guys. I know it's been a long time since we have revealed any Studio Series figures, but the team has been hard at work to make Wave 1 for 2021 very special for fans. And for the first time ever, we will be introducing 1986 Transformers the Movie characters into the Studio Series line. And this launch also commemorates the 35th anniversary of the film, so it's super exciting. Um, Evan, why don't you give fans a closer look at Wave 1, starting with the two figures revealed just yesterday on comicbook.com, which is Deluxe Jazz and Voyager Hot Rod. Certainly, I'd love to. Here's the maester himself. I know you guys have been screaming and begging for a new Jazz figure since we haven't done one since Combiner Wars, so I'm happy to reveal him to you today. Here in his glorious animation form, we've made sure to get the silhouette as close as possible to his on-screen appearance. And of course, he transforms into his iconic sports car. Wow. He's beautiful. <laughs> Super fans probably noticed that we had to change his number from four to 14, but some of you who are fans of the G1 toy probably remember that Jazz had some association with the number 14. He also, of course, comes with his famous backdrop of Moon Base One right before it gets eaten by the planet eating Transformer Unicron. <laughs> Such a rude thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, Evan. Yeah. He looks great. Yeah, he really turned out great. He's a wonderful deluxe figure. Why don't you guys write us some comments, tell us what you think. We're always <laughs> looking for your feedback. Um, and I guess then we should really move on because we have so much to go through. <laughs> A massive yeah, I, think, I think we have a YouTube clip to launch this next one. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Here's our man of the hour who's about to light our darkest hour. Because he <laughs> certainly got the touch. <laughs> certainly does. Oh, such an epic moment. Oops. All right, so, yep. Next up, we're jumping straight to Voyagers. Don't worry, we'll get right back to the other deluxes. So we have Voyager Hot Rod right here. So as you probably noticed, he's a little bit of a smaller Voyager. He's about the same size as Jazz, but that's because we wanted to jam pack this figure with a bunch of figures, uh, features and accessories. So you can pop open his helmet, just like the Masterpiece toy to reveal his visor. Nice. Yeah, he comes with a lot of cool accessories. Yep, of course. We can't do Hot Rod without the Matrix of Leadership with the blast effect, of course, to kind of really show off the sparking energy. That's perfect. Yeah. He transforms, obviously, into his futuristic Hot Rod. <laughs> oh, I love the effects on the tailpipes. So yep. cool. The tail 
Uh, the blast effects can actually come off and form his blaster effects when he is in robot mode as well. So there's a lot of mixing and matching of parts that you can do here for customizing. That's awesome. Of course, of course a bunch of the other secret features are his hands can actually open up and swap out. One can... Ready to go. There we go. <laughs> One goes to the spark welder mode, which of course he uses to rebuild Cup. So oh, nice. Brain here. Speak Speaking of cup, don't don't we have like a clip? I think we do. Let's roll it. So this is obviously the scene where Hot Rod just demolishes a squid with his bus saw <laughs> to say, which he also comes with, by the way. Yes, he does. <laughs> Speaks me. Sure, come right away. Like, Although it's like, okay, yeah, let me just go get your dismembered limbs. It's fine. Yeah. It's going to brisk <laughs> You'll be fine. Over here. Oh, poor cup. Yeah. So, next up, obviously, on our deluxe scale is a deluxe cup. So Rip his arm and leg off. <laughs> everybody's favorite crotchety old robot that has a story for everything. <laughs> yeah. So, his iconic backdrop scene is obviously the battle with the squid. Of course. <laughs> uh, one of his features is that you can dismember him and then have Hot Rod put him back together. <laughs> so all of his limbs can pop right off. And they're actually five millimeter ports. So if you've been collecting our weaponizers, uh, you can have some fun there. Oh my Not gosh. That oh, wow. That's so funky. I love it. Not that it's movie accurate, but you know, it's a toy. Have some fun. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Fans can recreate that scene. Yep. And then, of course, he transforms into his somehow futuristic yet somehow old timey truck form. <laughs> Classic. Yep. And he comes with his canteen of Energon goodies. So there's a lot that you can do here with this guy. So, yeah. Amazing. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a cup figure as well. Let us know what you think. And then I'll move on to the last deluxe that we have for wave one. And of course, I'm talking about the bot that speaks a million words a minute. Next up is Lux Blur. Can you speak as fast as him for this reveal? <laughs> no, I'm not even going to attempt. Evan. <laughs> wow. Come on. Such a bad sport. <laughs> No, we'll save you. <laughs> Thank you. The super flash designer that hates speaking up, you're going to make him do that? Yeah, thanks. Um, so, all right. So, obviously, Blur comes with his normal blaster, but he also comes with his spark welding arm so that he can spark weld the Autobot shuttle. Yeah. And, of course, he transforms into his futuristic hover car. That's awesome. Sweet. Very sweet. You did such a great job with these, Evan. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, it's always a team effort working with Takara Tomy. They're humongous fanboys as well, so it's a lot of back and forth. I would never claim to take all the credit for this. <laughs> and of course, he comes with his backdrop of defending the Autobot City right before it's under attack by the Decepticons. And Evan, I think we have a shot of Hot Rod, Blur, and Cup all together. We get a lot of fun on this photo shoot as well. Yeah, I mean, it's like a dream come true playing with, you know, the toys that you wish you had as a kid and now you're making them. So recreating your favorite scenes from one of my favorite movies. So, is that a screen? Because I was grabbing the next figure. Awesome. I think we have a clip to set up this next figure. And these shall be, so be your minions. <laughs> Coach the tracker and his huntsman the sweeps. Everybody's favorite line that we always have to say in Mimic whenever we say, oh, and next up is Scourge, the tracker. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so, wait, Evan, I have to announce this first feature because it's, it's one of my favorites, the pink nails. Come yeah. on. <laughs> or look, one of those super iconic Floro Deary designs is that he had those pink fingernails. Um, he loves his manicures. Yeah. Well, it's kind of threatening as well because it's just like, oh, that's the pop of color that he has on his like all blue purple form. Yeah. Isn't it? I'm I personally feel threatened. <laughs> yep. So we have, he's a big Voyager, of course. Who, 
can transform into his futuristic Cybertronian jet thing. <laughs> Uh, Hovercraft. <laughs> yeah, Amanda officially named it the Cybertronian Hovercraft. But. Yeah, that's. that's <laughs> Um, but yeah, we got a couple features here. So obviously there was that iconic scene in the movie where he could reveal his robot mode face while in his vehicle mode. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, he comes with his purple blast effect, which you can peg on to any of the ports in the front. I love that it goes with his nails. Yeah. <laughs> Color coordinated. Yeah. Beautiful. And of course, his backdrop is the scene when he is being reformatted from Thundercracker right into Scourge, the tracker. So epic. But yeah. All right. And I think we have one last YouTube clip to share with you guys to announce this last figure. Sharktacons execute them. <laughs> I love this part when he's like, excuse me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ray Grimlock wants to munch metal. <laughs> oh, wait, was I too early? Oh, shoot. It's okay. It was perfect. <laughs> it was so perfect. Uh, shout out to Greg Berger. <laughs> no, he'd be so proud. Oh, a slingshot, too. I love it. So I actually don't have a sample of the figure with me. We were doing some last minute tweaks to the deco, working with Takara Tomi on that, but we do have some renders that we can show you and walk you through. So of course, here he is in his iconic dinosaur mode, back when they thought T-Rexes stood up on two legs like that. Uh, Wait, they don't? What? No, not anymore, <laughs> not anymore, according to the wonderful 80s designs, but he comes with, of course, Wheelie, so, and Wheelie can ride on his back in dinosaur mode and on his shoulder in robot mode. Wheelie comes with his iconic slingshot. Slingshot. Yeah, and could be posed out. But of course, Amazing. everybody's here for Grimlock, everybody's favorite dinosaur transformer. And we've tried <laughs> to recreate as best as we could to look like the 86 movie character. Awesome. I can't wait to add this to my Grimlock collection. Yeah. <laughs> you have a, oh gosh. I mean I do I have one do you have behind room? me. I don't well I have other rooms. <laughs> but yeah, oh so all the office I think that's it for studio series. So make sure you guys tell us what you think about what we've shown so far. We're always looking for your feedback and we're always trying to improve. Yeah, thanks, Evan, for walking us through wave one. So now let's talk a little bit about the packaging and the numbers on the side panel. Of course, every Studio Series figure has that number displayed on the side panel. And it just so happened that when we were kicking off the packaging for these figures, we had number 86 available. <laughs> so all 1986 characters will feature the number 86 on the side panel in commemoration of the film. And next to the number 86 will be a sub number so you can start your mini collection of all the 1986 characters at home they're all number 86 <laughs> yes correct <laughs> and that wraps up studio series toy reveals here they all are here on the screen missing grimlock of course but all of wave one that you see will be available to pre-order at most major retailers and fan site fan sites starting at noon or check them out on shelf for yourselves starting February 1st, 2021. And now let's move on to the next toy reveal. And the next four are Walmart exclusives. Amanda, want to give them a proper introduction? I would love to because I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling pretty nostalgic. Um, but luckily, these next four reveals are just the thing for that. <laughs> Introducing the first wave of our new retro Headmasters line at Walmart. Each is designed to look like the original G1 packaging. I think actually, Evan, you have the packaging, right? I do. Awesome. Including like the tech specs on the back. There's no awesome. figure on the inside. There we go. Figure, but yeah. Yeah. And all the figures are inspired by their original G1 releases. And I think, Evan, you actually have these figures in hand. I certainly do. And I guess since I have Chrome Dome's box right here, let's start with him. So, do it. So here we have Headmaster Chrome Dome right here. 
So you guys may notice that the head sculpt is a little bit different. This is more following the G1 design closely. The deco is also different. Follow that too. I'm just going to get this out of the way. They're all like that. <laughs> I'm <probably gonna laughs> that. But but yeah. Now you don't have to repeat it for three more times. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to anyway. But of course, you can take off Skylar as headmaster, transform him into the little figure, little figure oh. car mode, as you saw. It can also. Add that was super fast, by the way. <laughs> that transformation. I've done this so many times. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're so easily impressed by that. <laughs> Trust me. I'm not the best uh, converter over here. <laughs> I'm easily impressed. Vehicle mode as well. Here we have in his futuristic Cybertronian car. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Manny's weapon. Mm-hmm. But yeah, all right. Um, so then I guess I'm on to Hardhead. Yeah, next one. Here we go. The green tank guy himself, Hardhead, who of course turns into a green tank, as I just said. So, <laughs> but yeah. Of course, you can take off his head. This is Doros, his headmaster. Boom. Doros can ride in the cockpit of the green tank, and it can also man the weapons. I love headmasters. They're so cool. They are a lot of fun, and I am happy that we are bringing them back with this, with these tweaks and updates. And I hope you fans are excited about it, too. Please drop us a comment and let us know what you think. <laughs> and then next up... Sorry, I have so much product over here that I have to dig through it all. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, we gave Evan all the products, so apologize, guys. <laughs> okay, I almost broke my back getting it all into my apartment. <laughs> oh, uh, no. So next up is Brainstorm. Uh, so he's like a futuristic jet. Of course, he has Arcana, his headmaster, who can ride in the jet mode. You really can do that so fast. Weapons. Of course, he has the updated deco and head sculpt to be more G1 accurate. Hope you guys really like him. A lot of you probably remember that Karatomi released these a couple years ago. Uh, and if you missed out on that release, now's your time to get in on it. And to round this out of our first wave, it's time to talk about the baddie of the group. It's the baddie. Uh, uh, the bat <laughs> The bat Was so, that intentional? <laughs> I should have just said Decepticon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> All right, so next up we have Mind Wipe. And his alt mode is... <laughs> Gasp, a bat. <laughs> yeah. The ultimate bat tea. I love it. <laughs> so, of course, oh, that uh, his headmaster, Voroth, can ride inside the bat mode and can also man his weapons. He's got like a... He's got a claw and a blaster, so... <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy them. And that's going to wrap it up for wave one of the Headmasters. Awesome. Thanks, Evan. So Headmasters Deluxe Wave 1 is available to pre-order exclusively at Walmart in the U.S. at noon. Or check them out for yourselves on shelf starting January 2021. Now we have the next encounter of the Galactic Odyssey collection, an Amazon exclusive. But before we reveal what encounter number two is, Amanda, why don't you give fans a closer look at the story behind this collection that you developed specifically for this capsule? Absolutely. So for those who don't know, the Galactic Odyssey collection is inspired by a series of five encounters where the Autobots and Decepticons embark on top secret side missions during the events of Earthrise. For Encounter 2, we're heading to Micron with the Micron Micromasters pack. So I think Evan actually has the pack in hand. And you can actually see on the outside, you have the, the icon for Micron. Haha, <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> so clever. And, uh, and when you open up the box, you can actually see the, the full map of the series. There we go. Nice. The universe right there. And then also included in the pack is a Micron Planet card packed with info on the planet. And maybe there's some cool Easter eggs in there. I don't know. You'll just, you'll just have to check it out. If she's telling you there are, then there probably are. So 
but yeah, like the the story for this is is super fun. As the Autobots and Decepticons speed through space in Earthrise, fuel is scarce on the Ark. Teletron One detects a planet with plasma energy, an extremely powerful but extremely dangerous source of energy. So Autobot Micromasters Windstorm, Fireguard, and Roadburner are deployed to Micron to attain some of that energy. But three Decepticons, Sting Racer, Runner, aka Barricade, and Motorhead are on their trail, seeking to sabotage their efforts and take the plasma for themselves. But if you want the full story, you'll have to head over to Amazon, where you can see lots more fun details. Yeah, please head over to Amazon. We worked really hard on the extra content. Well, Amanda did. I just kind of like <laughs> helped get it all up there. But please go to Amazon and check it out. <laughs> yeah. But now, guys, let's talk some logistics on these, because I know MicroMaster collectors out there want to know as I mentioned, within this pack is our Decepticon Runner, aka Barricade, and Motorhead, which allows fans to complete the Decepticon MicroMaster team Race Track Patrol, along with Groundhog and Roller Foot Force released earlier this year. So I know that's like, for me, it's huge. So I, I hope it's huge for you guys too. And then one last thing here, guys, you're proud, <laughs> like some of you might be wondering um, who Windstorm and Sting Racer are. And those who remember the mass toys might have noticed the deco on these. So these are actually inspired by classic mass vehicle toys, Hurricane and Stinger. Um, also, if you just like muscle cars, these are super cool. I think, um, I think Evan, do you have these in hand or do we have a picture or something to just like really show people how epic these are? Definitely got a picture and we definitely got them here in hand. I've just got to dig through them all. <laughs> yeah, grab those muscle cars. Grabbing all the muscle cars here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Awesome. Those look great. All right, fans. Well, the MicroMasters on Micron are, are available to pre-order exclusively at Amazon starting at noon. Otherwise, they will be available to purchase online starting December 2020. And next up, we have two Target exclusives we are very excited to share with you today. The first reveal is the Pompous Decepticon Warrior. Voyager Seeker Thrust, and now you can complete the Seeker Elite when paired with Dirge and Ramjet. So Evan, why don't you give fans a closer look at Thrust? <laughs> Certainly do that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited to have him to complete my Conehead collection, but also to have him be run over by Optimus Prime so I can re relive my favorite moment in the 86 movie. <laughs> Amazing. So, so here you go. We have Dirge, obviously with his uniquely tooled wings because that's one of his iconic design traits and he's just a very good seeker and a very good figure i hope you guys are excited for him yeah he looks great and the last target exclusive completes your battle charger collection amanda why don't you take us through the backstory first reunited and it feels so good yes <laughs> um, <laughs> for those that remember the story behind our fan vote run amok run amok and runabout were on a mission to infiltrate the ark but the brothers were separated so runabout was left behind while run amok stowed away in the cargo hold but it's time for the two brothers to get reunited with our next reveal runabout Oh, look at that, back together again. <laughs> now they can complete each other's sentences because before they were struggling. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, they look so good together. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Such a happy moment. All right. So looking great and sleek in his black and clear red. Obviously, he comes with his two blasters that can then merge together and store on top of his car mode. But yeah. He's just a great figure. I hope you guys have fun playing with him and collecting him. All right, and Voyager Thrust and Deluxe Runabout are available to pre-order exclusively at Target in the U.S. starting at noon. Otherwise, check them out in stores starting December 2020. And we are saving one of our favorites for last for all of you fans who may have missed out on collecting the Constructagons. We developed a fan exclusive Studio Series Devastator bundle. 
This pack includes all eight Studio Series Constructagons. And Evan, I think, yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> it is huge. Oh, my God. So can you just back up, like, like 20 <laughs> feet or something so that we can we can get it all in frame? <laughs> it hurts if you made me lift this thing up when the figures were inside. So, you know, it's a lot better now. All right. But to give you guys a closer look as to how this guy is packed out, essentially he's pretty much ready to go. Don't worry. Mixmaster is just packed away in the box. He's just not on top of the blister because he was getting a little dense. But essentially all you have to do is cut these guys out and you're ready to build Devastator. There's a bit of added deco on these guys as well to kind of bring it more to life that they're fighting in the desert. Which brings me to the backdrop. Yes, we had to create a uh, life size, size backdrop. <laughs> yeah, size appropriate backdrop. There we go. That's the right word. Because <laughs> otherwise, huge, Amazing. ginormous. So now you can pose Devastator <laughs> right in front of that massive backdrop. <laughs> Recreate that scene at home. And there's certainly enough room to create an epic battle. Definitely. And guys, if you haven't checked it out yet, go to Hasbro Pulse Unbox, where you'll find an exclusive interview with Transformers engineer Mike B, who's worked on this massive combiner project since its inception. Oh, I love that picture. Yeah, look um, at him. <laughs> he, shares, <I> like. <laughs> he shares insights into the process, um, talks about some of the greatest challenges, and there are just tons of behind the scene content that you're going to want to see. It's really, really cool. And there's even some bonus content, um, which I know you guys all appreciate. So um, go check it out. The Studio Series Devastator Pack is available to purchase at most fan channel retailers, as well as HasbroPulse.com starting today at noon. All right, guys, I believe that's all we have for you today. Wait, My little pony, wait you guys hear that? Little pony, I do. Uh, would the My Little Pony theme song be in a Transformers fan first Friday? Like, that's that's so weird. Um, I think it might be because um, we want to show you guys the the newest member of the, the My Little Pony crossover collection, My Little Prime. You see this little 4.5 inch figure. You got this like amazing blue molded hair. Amazing. <laughs> um, look at this like deco. And you even have the, the cutie mark is, is the Autobot logo. It's actually, it's like in the siege design, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I know. Oh, like the, the chest with that. Oh, that's such an amazing piece. The iconic truck details. This, yeah, this, this is, is so cute. This is really exciting. And, and I'm especially excited because of course, like I, yeah, this little, this, this little beauty right here. You can add My Little Prime to your collection, Amanda. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's just, yeah, this line is so much fun, and I'm so glad that Transformers is now a part of this world. <laughs> Wicked awesome. Amazing. So My Little Prime is a fan channel exclusive and is available to purchase starting today at noon. So make sure you check it out on the fan, cha fan channel retailers and get My Little Prime for yourself. And that is officially, right, Amanda, all we have for you guys yeah, today. I'm, I'm not hearing any music in my head anymore, so <laughs> it must be over. Great. Okay. Um, so thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Um, that's all we have for you today. Uh, Amanda, Evan, let's roll out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>